Hi guys, you're welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Benedicta. This is Benny Souls YouTube channel. For our new subscribers, you're welcome to our channel. Please hit the subscribe button. And for returning subscribers, we really love you. Please keep on watching. So today we're going to be making use of our scrap fabric to make this beautiful bralette. So, and now let's go over to the sewing table. So like I said, we're going to be making use of our scrap fabric. And in making use, in making this bralette up, so we we'll need a scrap fabric, a doll face. I'm going to be using doll face to line this. We're going to be making use of our pins, our chalk, and uh, for marking, and then scissors, and of course our tape measure for the measurement. So you can use any lining fabric of your choice, but I decide to use a doll face to line it to give it a fullness. So let's begin. And in making this bralette up, we need a underbust to overbust measurement, a mid chest to the side chest measurement, and of course a underbust circumference. So let's begin. So here I'm going to take my fabric and I'm going to fold it into two. Then after folding it into two, I'm going to mark out nine inches by nine inches. My, my overbust to underbust measurement is eight inches. So I added one inch to it for sewing allowance. And the mid chest to my side chest measurement is eight inches. I added one inch sewing allowance to it, which is nine by nine inches. So I'm marking nine by nine inches out. Yeah. So I'm squaring it out and I'm marking it out nine by nine inches. Nine by nine inches. I'm going to square it out and then I'm going to cut it out So here I'm done cutting it out and I'm going to cut the same measurement on my lining fabric. I'm going to cut that. So here I'm done cutting it out and I have four pieces, two main fabric and two lining pieces. So here I'm going to take one edge of my fabric and turn it to the opposite edge of it. And I'm going to take another edge from the other side and place it to the edge where I've placed the other one. And I'm going to cut out the small piece of it. So I'm going to cut out as shown. So here I'm cutting it out. I'm cutting it out. And then I'm going to do the same for my remaining three fabrics, both the lining and the remaining piece of it. So here I'm cut it out and I'll show you what I have. So here I'm done cutting it out and then the next thing is I'm going to curve that particular point where I have that sharp edge because that particular point is going to be sitting on our bust point. So in order to avoid the sharp edge, I'm going to square it, like curve it out and then cut it away. So, as you see me do, I'm cutting it out to give it a curved, a curved 
side as we want to avoid the sharpest on our post point. So I'm going to do the same to the remaining to the other lining fabrics and then to the main fabric. So I'm done cutting it out. This is what I have. I have this and I have this on the lining fabrics too. So my I have four pieces, two main fabric and two lining fabrics. So here I'm going to go over to the sewing machine and sew all the way around it. Just the particular part where I'm making, I'm going to sew it for both the two main fabric and then the lining fabric and I'll come back and show you the result. Here I'm done sewing it and I'm trimming out the excesses. I'll trim it out so it won't have won't have a bulky in inside. So trimming it out, trim it out. So here I'm done trimming out the excesses. So I have everything. So I'm going to turn it inside out. Say our cup is ready copying. Our cup is ready copying. So it's looking good. So this, after turning everything inside out, I'm going to set it aside. Then we'll cut, cut out our band. And then my on the bus circumference is 29 inches. And then since I'm cutting on fold, I'll be cutting 14 and a half. But since I'll be making use of loops and the rope for this um for this particular bralet, since I'm cutting 14 and a half, I will cut 12 and a half. I have deducted two inches that on fold is two inches, but on a straight it is Two, four inches I cut off, so I'm having twelve point five. Then, so I cut out twelve point five because of the loose. But if you're making use of zip, please cut out your measurement. And then, you can decide to cut out more than three inches. You can make it four, make it five. But for me, I want at the end of this, I want it to be my band to be just two inches. And here I'm going to cut out strap for the tying of the neck for the bralet. So I'm cutting out 16 inches by one inch. So I'll cut it out to make sure. So I have 16 inch by one inch. So this is it. Then for the band, I've gone ahead to sew one part of the edge. So I've gone ahead to sew one part of the edge. And then my strap, I've gone ahead to sew it. So I'll, go, I'll be turning it inside out. I'll be using my turner to turn inside out. So I've gone ahead to turn it. I've turned it. And I'm going ahead to sew one edge of my band. So here I'm going to fold it and notch the center part, the middle point. Of the other edge which I've not sewn so as I've not it now because our ballet our black ops are going to be sitting here and so I'm going to take that strap which I have turned and I'm going to place it on that center point the sewn part of my center point bralette cup and then I'll place my line on it and I'll go ahead and sew it round I'll pin and sew it round and come back and show you So uh, here I'm done sewing it round and I'm going to turn it inside out to spoil it is what I'm doing. So here is a back cord and then the strap will cut out as you can see it's sitting perfectly on me and our cup is copying already. Our cup is copying. So here is what we have. Here is what we have. So looking so beautiful already. So here 
is what we have okay. cooking already. So I'm going to bring back my band and I'm going to open it up. At our place of our place, one cup of the bralette at that center part where I not the fabric main fabric facing main fabric and I'm going to place it at that particular notch area and I'm going to pin it down that notch area and I'm going to pin it down down there so this is it remember so main fabric facing main fabric and then I'm going to place the other one so at that other side of the notch. Yeah. So and I'm going to pin that also to avoid it moving around. So pin. And here, yeah, I'm going to turn it inside and I'm going to bring over the lining piece over it. And then I'm going to go back to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it. I'm going to go and sew the street stitch all the way from the beginning of the band to the end. And I'm going to sew it. Here I have some finished sewing to the band. Close up and I'm band. trimming off the excesses and the okay. threads on the body. I'm trimming off the so here I'm done some excesses. trimming. trimming so, that. so next I'm thing is that I'm going to turn out from this end of all the black cups from the inside to outside. I'm going to turn it out and I'll show you what it looks like. So here I'm done turning it and I'm giving it a press. So here is what we have. Our bullet is looking like a bralette already. So this is looking beautiful already. These are my straps. And then looking so cute and then already. And then the next one we're going to do on this particular side, since we did not, we are really making use of loops, so we're going to be cutting out fabrics. Then here is my, that's my 12.5 inch that I have. So this is it, 12.5 inch that I have. Like I said, at the old fold, I did not like 2 and 5 inches, so I have for the back. I have two inches for uh, that it is up at two inches and so i have my four inches from the inches so after this we're going to cut out our loops for the fabric so here we're going to turn it in between and then let's go back cut out our loops and then i'll start to tie it Okay. So here I've come ahead to cut out to our loops. loops. This is our loops. I have four strands of loops because I want two two on each side. So, fix this so I'm going to fold it in half inch in like so. Like half inch in like so. And then I'm sorry for this part. I think I went off camera, so the camera wasn't bringing it out. So I'm going to turn the loops inward and put the legs inside and sew. I think this straps are too long, so I'm going to trim it off. I'm going to trim trim it down to three inches. All of them. So I've gone ahead to trim it down. That's why I have. Three inches long three inches long stripes and I have four of that. So four of that, two on each side of the band and two on each side of the band. So here sorry the camera is not capturing the part where I'm turning it in. So I'm going to turn it in like so and then fix my my loops. 
I'll turn it like an X and fix it in and I'll sew it down. I'll do that to the other side of the band to alternate it and sew it down. I'll go back to the machine and do that too. Okay. So here I'm done sewing it down and I've gone ahead to fix the ropes for it. And this is looking so beautiful already. I brought it is ready. This is very easy, very easy, easy to make. Please try yours and tag me on it. Please try it now. It is very easy to make. Please, whenever you do that, let me know in the comment section. Or whatever question you have to ask, please ask in the comments question and I'm going to answer your questions. And please, for returning subscribers, we love you. Our new subscriber, please hit the subscribe button.